Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. Oh, thank you. You know, this is, I, I feel like a princess. Can I show it to you? Thought I'd show you that thing. Okay, who's where, where am I going? Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, I'm I'm newly engaged. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be married. Um, and we made an announcement last last week or a week and a half ago. So yes, thank you. Hi, Melinda. I'm Dominique Clark with Boss Magazine. Hi. Can you hear me well with the mic? I can. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, congratulations on your engagement or your, your marriage. Thank you. So this is not about necessarily what you're doing professionally, but how are you planning to balance that? Because this is a big deal. Wait, say it, say it again. The mic is not working. How, how am I? Managing. So love, career, and marriage. Well, here's the thing. When you have love, you are really, truly able to manage everything. I say that because... You know, I don't, I don't know how many of you follow sort of, I guess, astrology. I don't follow it very deeply, but I know that I'm a Libra, and Libras love love, right? So you know this. So we need love to keep us balanced. And when I have love, when I'm in love, when I have the love and support of my family, the love and support of my friends, and just people in general who champion for me and lift me up, I, I'm so empowered, and I feel like there's nothing that I can't do. So that's really how I'm able to manage all, manage it all. To be honest with you. Yes. Oh, hi. Hi, Danielle. What are you working on right now, and where can we see you shining on screen? Ooh, good question. So I'm working on a couple of projects. Um, I, my most recent project is actually a project for TV One, and it premieres uh, this summer uh, in 2019. I'm not sure if it's July or June, but it's, um, it's called Love to Death, and it's about a woman. I play a woman named Monica who was recently engaged, uh, but who was gunned down by her ex-lover. She was stalked and gunned down by her ex-lover. And, it, and it's a project that, that's very close to my heart because it, it really shines a light on domestic violence and intimate partner abuse and really sort of, you know, highlights that there are warning signs. And a lot of times we miss the warning signs. And uh, as friends and family members of the, the victims, we tend not to step in because we want to mind our business or we, um, we want to, you know, just kind of sweep that under the rug and, and not deal with it. So I was really excited to be a part of it because I wanted to really tell this story because I know a lot of women who, um, who have been affected. Myself, I've also been affected indirectly through friends, through family members. I think everyone in this room knows somebody who's been affected by domestic violence and or intimate partner abuse. And so I'm very happy to be a part of the story. I see you. Hey, sister, how you doing? I'm well, how are you? Good. Good. I just want to know for the record, yes. what has over your career been your funnest role because you're always that uh, intellectual uh, stop the fun type sister, you know. Stop the fun? <laughs> Can you, straight off your lips, tell me what is your funnest role or oh, the funnest time you had? Hands down, my funnest role has been Bird on Soul Food. Hands down. Like, there's no question, because I'll tell you something. Like, Bird was so close to my heart. I was, I am uh, the baby sister from a family of three women. Um, and, and she and I had so much in common, but I bonded with the other actors, and particularly the women who I still call my sisters, Nicole Ari Parker and Vanessa Williams. And you, we still meet up once a week. We still talk three times a week, so we cut up 
so crazy on that show. It's, it's still hard to believe that they paid us to do that. Um, and, and, you know, there was such a bonding that we did with our community, and, and I feel like it was a wonderful contribution to the culture. So that was definitely my funnest, funnest role. Thank you for that question. Thank you. All right. Have fun, everybody. <laughs>